Welcome, this is Cindy Nanke and this is a video tutorial of the accessibility feature Assistive Touch on your iPad. Assistive Touch replaces the hardware buttons with touch icons so persons with strength and coordination impairments um, that have difficulty pressing the home button or pressing the volume buttons or performing any of the screen gestures uh, this would be a beneficial accessibility feature. So we're going to tap settings, we're going into general, accessibility, scroll down to the interaction section, right below switch control is assistive touch. I turn on assistive touch and the touch icon appears on my screen. This can be located around the perimeter of my iPad wherever it's most accessible. When I tap on that you'll see that we have touch icons for home so I can tap home. Uh, I can bring that back up. I can tap control center to bring up my control center. Bring that back up. We can also use Siri from here. Uh, favorites, I'll talk about that in a minute when we get to custom gestures. We can bring up the notification center. And when I tap device, it goes into touch icons for volume up, volume down, mute, locking the screen, and rotate. We also have a more button. When we tap more, you'll see we have the gestures, and I'll get to that. We can tap and take a screenshot. We can tap and bring up our multitasking. So we can scroll through the past apps that we had up and um, I'm going to tap home and we're going to go back into settings and create a new gesture. So again we're in general, accessibility, and assistive touch. Now we're going to create a new gesture. I'm going to create a swipe gesture and we will save that and we'll name it swipe left. Now when I save that and I bring up my favorites, it is now um, located in my favorites. So when I tap the swipe left, it puts this icon on my screen. Now one of the um, purposes that I've used this is I have a little girl with very limited motion and she cannot perform the swipe. So when we're in some of the reading books or things that require her to swipe from one page to the next, she can get her thumb on that tap button, on the swipe gesture button that we created. Now all I'm doing is touching the button and when I touch the button it performs the swipe. So that is the um, custom gestures.